Fin.com. Welcome to the Great Big Card Swap. I am so happy you are joining me. It is Tuesday, April 9th, 2024. And I realized, <laughs> I realized earlier today that it is the second Tuesday already. It seems so early because um, April started on a Monday. So we are the second Tuesday and the fourth Tuesday every month with our showcase videos, sharing all of the cards that I've received for the Great Big Card Swap. If you're not familiar, if this is your first time here, welcome. I'm so happy that you are joining us. The Great Big Card Swap is for all stampers, no matter if you're using Stampin' Up! products or not Stampin' Up! products, any products, retired, I don't care. doesn't matter if you're a demonstrator or a customer. I just want you to make some cards and send them in. I share all of the cards that I receive and then I mix them up and turn them around and send them back to you. So everyone who sends a card gets one back. It is such a great way to make and send and receive happy mail. I love that for you so much because I know how much I enjoy getting fun cards in the mail. And I hope that you do as well. Uh, now, we have a theme every month. And so our theme for April is three. And I know that seems a little challenging. And many of you have been like, what do you mean three? I think we are going to see a lot of great examples tonight. I have 55 cards to share with you that will show you exactly different ways that you can represent the number three on your card. Some actually used the number three and some just used three of one thing, like three circles or three flowers. Um, and we have some really fun folds that have to do with three, like triple triple folds or triple panels. And so I know you're gonna be so inspired uh, by the cards that you see tonight. Now, our next video showcase for April is going to be in two weeks on Tuesday, April 23rd. So it's not too late to send your cards. You can also send ahead for May. The theme is hello, goodbye. You can send a hello card or a goodbye card or a card that says hello and goodbye. Um, I think it would be fun to interpret that as a, you know, hello baby card or goodbye. You could send a miss you card or bon voyage card. Um, I mean, I really try to keep these themes open to interpretation. So I can't wait to see what you guys send in the mail. You can send your cards to Julie Davison, P.O. Box 6164, Champaign, Illinois 61826. I am located in the United States, but this swap is open to everyone. So if you are an international swapper, um, check out the link in the video description to a PayPal button where you can purchase um, three, I was going to say it's $5 USD um, to cover three global return stamps. If you're in the United States, I ask that you include a dollar or loose postage um, to cover your return card, but don't worry about the envelope. I'll provide those. And I also ask that you not write inside your card. You can include, include a loose sticky note, uh, a loose note or a sticky note inside if you want to say hello, tell us a little bit about yourself or about the card or whatever you'd like, but that's totally optional. If you don't want to, you don't have to include anything, but we ask that you not write on the card so that whoever gets the card can pass it on and send that happy meal on to someone else. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad that you're here. I, as I was getting ready to go live, I realized that I accidentally set the date for tomorrow when I set up the video. And so I'm sorry if that was confusing um, for some of you who are probably like, but we normally do it on Tuesdays. I am feeling like maybe I don't even know what day it is. So <laughs> that's my excuse. But uh, I'm here tonight and I've got some amazing cards to share with you. Now, um, every now and then, well, I mean, I think it happens every month. <laughs> um, we have a little a little delay sometimes with the post office and we don't always get the cards in time. And so if that ever happens to you, do not worry because as soon as your card comes, I promise I will share it in the next video showcase. And um, so I do have some cards to share that were from last month in March. And our theme um, in March was um, something old, something new. And I encouraged you to use um, maybe a stamp set that you've had for a long time in conjunction or something that you um, just got recently, something that's new. And so the first card um, in the, <laughs> the first card we have to look at is this fun fold from Ann Telecki. And she used some older designer paper as well as the Easter egg dies, the new dies to create these fun Easter cards. And we've got a little this or that. So you can leave a comment and let us know. Do you prefer the crushed curry, the yellow version, or do you like the pink, the um, flower? 
Flirty Flamingo version. Let's take a look here and I can give you some more details about this card. Um, in the back, we've got a place to write a message and these cute little Easter eggs and Easter bunny. Um, so this is the Excellent Egg Dies and the designer paper is the Sweet Symmetry paper. Oh, I love that one. Um, trying to remember the name of this fold. And if you... Um, if you're watching or if anybody else knows, let us know what the name of this is. I think I've called it like a, a tower, no, maybe not a tower, an accordion fold. Um, it does fold flat to fit into a regular envelope and then it kind of has that dimension which makes it easy to stand up and the place in the back to write. So it's a half a sheet of cardstock um, when it's unfolded and just folded a little different, kind of a fun little fold. I love that. Yes, yeah, so great card. And let us know which one you prefer. And I get to keep one. I'm so excited about that. So I'll have to take a look later and decide which color, um, which color I like. But I hope that you all had a great Easter. It's hard to believe that it's um, already come and gone already. It still just feels like it should be Easter time. Um, so when when was that? Like a week? Like two weeks? A week. Yeah, just a week ago. See, I'm losing track of time. I don't even know. <laughs> Our next card is from Lana Alesna, and she created this beautiful wedding card. Um, and I love this wedding wishes and the um, the the cake here. We've got Starry Sky as our card base, and that color is going away. Make sure you stock up on all your favorite retiring in colors. Isn't that just the cutest? The wedding cake is from 2007. Oh my gosh, I love that. I do remember this designer paper. It was, um, oh my gosh, it's on the tip of my tongue. It was in the clearance rack for a while. We used it for, um, I think, Creativity Now, and it was in a fall mini catalog. Um, not this past fall, but the fall before that. If you know, leave a comment because it's just going to drive me crazy. Uh, a Wonderful Marriage is the collection of many small happy moments to the cutest couple ever. I love that. Yes, it would make a great anniversary card too. You're right. So beautiful. Mixing some old and new there. Thank you so much, Lana, for sharing that card with us. Our next old something old something new is from Dixie Van Shake, who sent in this one with the dandelion wishes. Oh, this was such a favorite. Um, stamp set. Wishing you a happy heart and a lifetime of love and happiness. I absolutely love the white ink on the um, crumb cake cardstock. I think that's such a classic look. Splendid Day. Sharon, I think you're right. Splendid Day, I think was the name of that designer paper. It had lots and lots of foil on it, all over foil. Uh, beautiful card here. I love the very vanilla mixed with the, um, the crumb cake. Just so classic. Our next card is from Joanne Prosser using lovely as a tree. This one was my very first stamp set that I ever got from Stampin' Up. I love the sponging around the edges of the deckled rectangles and the marker stitching. That's really fun. Something old large tree stamp from lovely as a tree. Something new the inside tree stamp from encircled in nature. Oh yeah, that's a brand new online exclusive one. You really got something old and new there, Joanne. Deckled rectangle dies circle dies is from the thoughtful expressions yes I love that one um so fantastic and the sentiment is from that encircled in nature um encircled in nature stamp set I didn't get that one though I was definitely looking at it and I remember the naturals white cardstock that's the the background here it's got that built-in speckle did you guys have that naturals paper we had some different naturals ivory and naturals white and then also there was a confetti white uh, when I first started with Stampin' Up! 25 years ago. You know, my husband knows that I'm doing a video. I don't know if you can hear him out in the yard. <laughs> He's got the leaf blower going and the windows are open and he has his earbuds in, so I don't think he realizes how loud it is. I hope you can't hear it. Our next card is from Tyra Marshall and she uses cute animal stamp set. Oh, we just saw some cards with it last time. I'm trying to remember the name of this stamp set. Paired with the memorable, uh, no, Meandering Meadow designer paper. Isn't it just the cutest? So we've got our little um, kangaroo with the koala in the pouch. Together, we make a great pair. I feel like I'm going too high here. I'm going to just scoot my camera back because I'm just... I don't, I'm not in the right frame there. Hopefully that's better. Sorry if I keep going out. Um, Sharon, Confetti Craft. I don't remember. Was there a Confetti Craft too? You know what there might have been? Um, it's been a little while. 
Um, our next card is from new swapper, Kaylee Sliman. Um, Sliman? Sliman. Oh, I knew. I, I even practiced, Kaylee. I was, I'm going to get this right. Here we have a combination of some older colors, I think, right? This looks like... Um, Oh, what color is this? Maybe it's not as old as I think it is. To me, it looks like Cucumber Crush and like a Watermelon Wonder. Could it be that old? The stamp set is the new Softly Sophisticated and the Stylish Shape's my favorite. Calypso Coral uh, Ink and Paper. What's the green though? Cucumber Crush. Yes, I did get it right. All right. Kaylee, thank you so much for swapping. I love these colors. Love that stamp set. I'm so sad that it was only around for a couple months. Um, and we're so glad that you are swapping with us. There's another card from Kaylee for April. Um, so we'll get to that one when we get to the April cards. One more, no, two more here from um, March 1st. This one from Susie. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? I love that little bee stamp and the stars and stripes. What love is to the heart Liberty is to the soul. This reminds me, Susie sent in a card for Linda's dad, who is celebrating his 100th birthday this July. If you would like to send a birthday card to help celebrate Linda's dad's father's birthday, I'm going to send all the cards I receive um, to, to Linda to share with her dad. So you can send birthday cards for Linda's dad. Just mark the envelope, Linda's dad, or happy birthday. Um... And happy birthday, Linda's dad. Somewhere on there, put Linda's dad. <laughs> so I know, and I'll send those off to her. So you can send uh, birthday cards, 100th birthday cards, just so amazing. Send those to Julie Davison, P.O. Box 6164, Champaign, Illinois 61826. I think it would be so awesome to collect 100 birthday cards to pass along to him. We have a ways to go to get there. Um, so we may not make it to a 100 cards, but if you have an extra card um, that you'd like to send and um, share with Linda's dad. I think that would just be um, fantastic. Melissa, <laughs> Melissa, I think you're right that um, the animals are animal outing um, on, on this card. Here we go. Animal outing. That's right. That was such a good one. Um, Sharon, birthday is in July. And so I would love to get the cards, I would say, in the next month or so. Like I, I would like to get them um, by mid-May to forward on. But I guess... I guess we could, I'll say that the end of May, May 31st, um, and then there's time to get them, and um, that's a great question. So, Lin birthday cards for Linda's dad, please, by um, May 31st, um, and we'll get those forwarded on in plenty of time before the birthday. That's a good one. Um, Margaret, I have, every time I get a card for Linda's dad, I've just got them in a, um, in a bag, and I honestly haven't been paying attention to who's been sending them, so... Um, I probably got it. Um, I can double check if you message me um, I, and make sure. Um, all right, our last card for March. This was the Something Old, Something New. Um, it's from Betty Woida. And oh my gosh, there is nothing as classic as this little bear. This was such um, a popular stamp set back in the day. Let me, let me open up her note. Um, I don't know if this one was called Button Bear. Um, we had, there was a couple, there was a couple bear stamps that were very similar. Um, and one of them was called Button Bear. So um, Betty says the bear stamp was the first stamp she got from Stampin' Up and she found it at a garage sale in the mid eighties. She used it for many years for birthday baby and Christmas cards. Um, and then the new is the Lighting the Way stamp. Um, and that is what she used for the, um, the grass and the branches and the cute little lightning bugs. And then inside we have some cute bumblebee stamps just buzzing by to say hi. Oh my gosh, so cute. I always love a blast from a past and that theme in March was so perfect. Thank you so much for sharing all your something old, something new stamps. Um, all right, before we move on to April and I have a whole bunch of April cards to share with you, like 55 of them. Um, I have to give a shout out please to Patty Tucker. Actually, I think I just opened a card from Patty, so maybe I don't need your apartment number. Um, the, the card that you sent last month, I got it all ready to go back to you, Patty, and I could not read the apartment number because the postmark covered it up so much that I couldn't make out the numbers. And so um, if you are watching or if you reach out to me, may, I might be able to get it off the envelope I just opened up, though, so maybe I, I won't need it. But um, sometimes it is so tricky on these envelopes 
with uh with the postmark sometimes obscures usually it's fine but sometimes it obscures the um the return address all right we've got some cards and i i pulled these out well these two in particular because they have the number three on them and that is our theme for april and so you're gonna see lots of different ideas of what three could look like on your card for your theme. Our first one comes from Marita Boone and she is part of the Indiana Sister Stampers. In fact, both of these cards, um, how do I not have a name on this one? Did I, oh my goodness. This one's Nancy Morton. Let me, let's just get that on here. Um, let's put that on there right now before I forget. Okay. <laughs> Nancy Morton and Marita Boone, sister stampers from Indiana. I love to hear of you guys stamping together with your family, especially, of course, because I love stamping with my family. Um, so we got three, the number three on both these cards. So Marita's card uses um, some fun pieces with a gold foil. May God's love brighten your day. Oh, I love that. She said here that she used most Mostly the Anna Griffin Cards for Kids card making kit. Um, I love that. The simple elements and what a great little layout with the three hearts and celebrating three. So this is so fun. You can use this to celebrate a third birthday or um, someone celebrating a third anniversary or I don't know, all kinds of occasions. What can you guys think of for the number three? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I love this one. Uh, just thinking of you because you make me smile. Okay, so Nancy's note um, said that she um, <laughs> she created her card before she heard um, <laughs> before she heard that the theme for April or May was gonna be hello goodbye, um, and so she. <laughs> Um, she says she loves to hear me say hello, hello, hello. And that's how I open all my videos. Um, I just love that so much. Um, yeah, sometimes two times, sometimes three times. Um, but I love that you did it three times. And I love how that fits in with next month's theme of hello, goodbye. All right, so we're kicking off our hello, goodbye. No, we're kicking off our three. <laughs> our three theme with two, three cards and another slimline card here with three little shaker window cards. Aren't those animals just the cutest? This one is from Jennifer Crabtree and she has used an Anna Griffith card base and lawn fawn characters and gosh they are just the cutest. I love the little scallop window sheet shaker frame. So like Stampin' Dimensionals usually is used, used to create that elevated um, shaker card. And what a pretty card this is. I like those slimline cards. Three and a half, um, usually three and a half by eight and a half. And they fit in like the letter size envelope. So that was the same, similar similar card here. Size, this one I think is three inches. Um, such a great card. I'm loving, loving the three windows here. We got another this or that for our next card. This one is from Mary fudge and she has used the just kidding designer paper um, to create these um these cuties so we've got three kids over here enjoying the library and three little dogs over here with the two kids and dogs oh my gosh okay so this or that which one of these do you uh do you prefer Oh, they are so cute. I love this Just Kidding designer paper. And this designer paper is on the last chance list. So if you love it too, make sure that you grab a pack um, before it goes away. I think it's on sale and the last chance deals, the sales start today. So make sure that you snatch up all your favorites because they're all available while supplies last. Now the coordinating stamp set that um, goes with this designer paper is going to be in the new catalog as well as the dies, but the designer paper is not going to carry over so I think that's the cutest part honestly so you definitely got to get a pack of that cute paper Mary thank you so much for these um, cute little cards and yes I agree Sharon such a great job fussy cutting those um, those cute little kids our next card is from Wendy Langsep using the sea turtle stamp set oh my gosh this background Wendy is so beautiful with the um, watercolor effect that you did on the watercolor paper I just love that 
sending good thoughts. And she says three is the number of embellishments. One, two, three. Uh, this is case from Patty Bennett using the watercolor wash background technique. We got some Bermuda Bay cardstock and that sea turtle stamp set. Oh, I just love that one. That's one of the reversible stamps where you can stamp the detail and then you have the solid image um, on the back side that you can flip over and stamp again. Sending good thoughts. That really is just gorgeous. I love those colors together. Uh, this is our animal theme stack, by the way. Our next card is from Peg Herrick, and she uh, used the Countryside Inn designer paper and the Easter Bunny stamp set. So cute to make this triple panel card that has an easel in the middle. So a little score line right there in the middle, and that will prop up against the sentiment on the inside. You're a friend like no other. What a fantastic card. I just love that. And this Countryside in designer paper going to carry over. Really excited about that. If you're a demonstrator, there is an opportunity to participate in the April sales challenge and earn a package of the Country Rose designer paper, which is this except in pinks. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. If you're a demonstrator, give me a thumbs up. Give me a wave if you are excited about earning that paper for free. That's so exciting. All right, moving right along with our three cards. How about this one with the cute little owls? This is from Cherith Day um, using this owl set. I can't remember the name of it. It was a celebration stamp set a couple years ago and gosh darn it, just the cutest. I love it paired with this designer paper. Some pool party with some um, cool Caribbean. I love the crumb cake. Um, in there and the the blues hoot hoot you're so cute such a fantastic card Jared I'm obsessed honestly everything about it we got three gems we got three circles um, it's just such a cute fantastic card mm. speaking of cute and fantastic and celebration how about this one from Leslie Kneisel she used the jungle pal stamp set that was just available in this last celebration offering this is a one stamp that die cut all the circles at the same time and so we've got the cute little stamped and die cut images as well as the flowers and sentiment to fill in the other circles so so cute I just love that jungle pals I did a card kit with the Jungle Pals in an online class, and I still have lots of kits available. So if you're interested in that Jungle Pals class kit, check out my kits collection. Not my kits collection, my kits selection at juliedavison.com slash kits to find all the kits I have available. Um, and I have to go through and add some of my older ones as well that I have extras of. Cindy, yes, I am planning to do a product share um, when the new catalog releases. Um, I need to get through my tax return first. So watch for product share details mid next week um, after I get through taxes and I will share all the details um, for that. I can't collect money too far in advance. So I'll put that sign up sheet up um, starting, starting next, um, I'm shooting for Wednesday, April 17th. And of course I will share those details during Thursday night stamp therapy, the next night on the 18th as well. Our next card is from Rachel Chizinski and she used this gorgeous flight and airy designer paper. Um, I forgot the name of this, um, technique. Like, is it the faux, Iris is that faux iris technique um, using the designer paper. You start with the one in the middle and then you add the different squares of paper and um, and the cardstock strips. Mom shared a card similar to this in one of our Sunday stamping episodes. And I've been meaning to try this technique. It looks really awesome. Love those three little birds in the center. So cute. Oh, look at these dogs. This is one big background stamp and we got holes punched out to highlight or spotlight three of these cute little friends. Glad we're friends. It's Guinea. Be a great day. Oh my gosh. So cute from Dixie Van Shake for our three theme in April. Glad we're friends. I love that little pop of color too with the red. How about these cuties? Oh my gosh, this is from Judy K. Meek and this bright yellow gingham paper. I love the scallop circles here, sort of a lacy, um, lacy effect against the yellow and these cute bears. Oh my gosh, I'm not sure what stamp set this is. It's not stamping up, but it is so stinking cute. 
I just love them and all the little flowers and the butterfly. Judy, this is so cute. Welcome, baby. This would be a great card for next month, too, with our hello, goodbye. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Some This would be so cute for a baby shower. I think someone would, would absolutely love to get that. Our next card also has three circles with birds from the Flight and Airy designer paper from Celebration. This one is from Pat Stewart with a little, you, I think you guys use this punch on purpose just to make me say it. It's like the house of both of Bows, bow punch. The bow punch? Yes, bow wow. <laughs> uh, the bow punch, bow, that just sounds wrong. But I think it's right. I'm going to stop talking. Okay, moving on. Highland Heather, some fresh freesia, and I love this blue in here. I think it's supposed to be like a boho blue, but it really reminds me of Seaside Spray. Um, so pretty. Grateful for you, Pat. Thank you so much for the extras in there. I know someone's really going to love to get that too. How about this one? Our last cute little animal card. This is the Party Panda from Celebration a few years ago. This one is from Leanne Nelson, and she paired it with this polka dot embossing folder, some glimmer paper and confetti with some gold foil flex in there. So cute. On the inside, we have a little stamping and some designer paper on the inside. She's got three diamonds for our uh, Party Pandas there and the gold glitter paper. I love that. Love, love, love. Such a happy card. Who, who's who got a birthday coming up? Do we have any April birthdays, especially this week? Anyone's got a birthday this week? I can't sing happy birthday because of the copyright thing, but um, we can do like a, we'll do a shortened happy, happy birthday to you. Our next two cards are kind of paired together because they just reminded me of each other with the three different shapes in the middle and kind of monochromatic cards. Our first one from Joanne Prosser uses the Thoughtful Expressions designer paper, which is Moody Mauve. You make every day a little brighter. And on the inside, we have some more designer paper and a little diamond piece of it there. Poetic expressions with the everyday details for the sentiment and a little stomped, st stomped, st stamped envelope to go with it for whoever gets the card can use that to send it on. That's really pretty. I love those little Moody Mauve um, embellishments on the front too. Such a great card, Joanne. Another one here with triple shapes. This one is the banners from the Nested Essentials dies. This one from Anne Hansen using the cross hatch from the 3D Basics embossing folders. Also from the Nested Essentials, that sort of um, diamond shape. Your kindness is so appreciated. Love that. A little white piece on the inside for writing your message. What stamp set is that kindness stamp from? I feel like that is that the layered leaves maybe um happy birthday isn't public domain are you saying that i can sing it or i can't sing it <laughs> i thought you could do happy birthday i don't know why i don't know anyway I'm not going to sing happy birthday, but I'll wish you a happy birthday. <laughs> um, I still don't see any birthdays, though, so I'm, I think I'm in the clear. Our next card from Belinda Bosch has this great triple panel card. I love that. Actually, I think I had it folded wrong. Sorry about that. Folding like this with a secret little if you're happy and you know it. Keep it up. I love it. We don't stop playing because we grow. We grow old because we stop playing. Oh, <laughs> Oh, uh, I think that's a fun thing on the inside. Triple flap gatefold card. I like this one. I'm going to try that. I think I made one once, um, but I like this one that it kind of all blends together and it looks like it's one panel until you open it. That's really cool. Um, oh, Melissa asking. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know why it stuck in my head that I thought we, we couldn't, but maybe I'm just misremembering um, wrong. Okay, let's take a look at these cards. Another this or that. This one is from um, Loretta Buzza, and she has um, made these cards. What is this called? The Triple Point or Triple Toe card. Um, and she used the Softly Stippled Designer Paper. She says, you can add the extra triangle for more space to write. Oh, I love that. That's really cool. This reminds me of the arrow card. Um, so this is interesting. Triple, triple point or triple toe card. Um, so these 
pieces came from the sides. So like what was cut here and here then turned to the inside. That's kind of a fun shape. I like that. So very proud of you. Two-tone floral on one side. And this is from, oh my gosh, So Fancy, I think, something like that. Um, be grateful for what you have. Be proud of who you are. Oh, what fantastic cards. I just love this. Okay, so this or that. Do you prefer the Pool Party and Wild Wheat or the Calypso Coral and Pebbled Path? Leave a comment and let me know which of Loretta's cards you prefer. And Loretta, thank you so much for sending an extra for me. I'm so excited to have a sample of this fun fold, and I might just have to give this one a try myself. This or that. <laughs> Fonda says this, even though it's wild wheat. I know, right? You guys are so funny about that wild wheat color. Um, I do love this pattern of the, the um, pool party. Um, design, but Calypso Coral is also one of my favorite colors too. I don't know. It's a toss up. It's really hard. They're both fantastic. Our next card from comes from Judy Howard and she used the delicate forest stamp set um, to stamp the tree three times and Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock. Stay strong, my friend. You'll get through this. So pretty. Eden's Garden uh, for the sending hugs and that's the delicate forest there on the inside. This looks like some of that confetti uh, cardstock we were just talking about and Judy's signature deckled edge there. Love that clean and simple card. This is one of my favorite um, sets. So excited that it is going to carry over to the new catalog, Delicate Forest. Our next card from Joan Talent uses one of the paper pumpkin kits inspired by the Countryside Inn um, designer paper. It had these die cut vases here um, and I love this uh, countryside corner inspired label with the pretty, pretty blue ribbon in there. Such a pretty one. I love it. Do you guys subscribe to Paper Pumpkin? I'm super excited about the new kit. It has butterflies with pop-up effects. Really, really cool. If you're interested in getting that Paper Pumpkin kit, make sure that you subscribe by Wednesday, April 10th. That's tomorrow. Oh my gosh, that's tomorrow. Uh, you can subscribe at paperpumpkin.com or you can go to tinyurl.com slash getpaperpumpkin um, to subscribe directly under me. This next card is from Joe Williams, and she is using the fern embossing folder along with the, uh, I see it in my head, and I'm trying to remember the name of the stamp set. Oh, Joe, maybe you can remind me. I, I, I just keep picturing the sun prints paper that it it coordinated with when it first came out but i love this color combination it is so refreshing coastal cabana fresh freesia daffodil delight and flirty flamingo this just screams summer it is so pretty nature's print thank you so much melissa i don't know why i couldn't think of that it just went right out of my head um such a pretty combination here i really don't think i would have thought to use these colors um, with the fern, but I think it's just really, really very pretty. Um, <laughs> uh, when does it bail out? Good question, Sharon. The um, April Paper Pumpkin Kit bills around the 10th, and then it mails out um, usually within a few days after that. So I would say it usually arrives in mailboxes between like the 17th and the 24th. So um, it mails out after it bills, and it bills on the 11th. Um, or 12th, like the day or two right after it closes. So the last day to subscribe is the 10th, and then billing happens uh, pretty immediately after that. Our next card is from Rosemary McDougall. She was inspired by Terry Gaines's triple panel peekaboo fun fold card. She says, love the card, disappointed it won't lay flat any suggestions. All right, well, I'm looking at this card, and I think the reason it doesn't lay flat is just because there are so many layers here. Um, and maybe you just mean the top part, and still I would say the same thing, is that the, the, the layers are just keeping it. Um, but sometimes just this being so bulky near the fold is kind of keeping it from coming down all the way. I don't mind that it doesn't lay flat because it has this amazing fun fold in the middle. So it kind of comes out here um, almost like a gate fold. We open one side and then the other. These scalloped ovals are kind of amazing. Celebrate every beautiful thing. This is the butterfly... Um, 
Butterfly Kisses designer paper. Is that what it was called? I just love these colors. Fresh Freesia with some Granny Apple Green. And the Brush Brass Butterflies are awesome. <laughs> Such a fun card. Thank you so much, Rosemary, for sharing that. Um, if anyone else has any ideas for this staying flat, um, then leave a comment for Rosemary so she can see that. But I don't know. I don't mind it. And I think it's just because there's so much going on in the middle and so, um, so bulky there. But usually, I try to get like a bone folder to um, to crease things so that they lay down a little bit flatter and maybe that helped a little bit. Um, I, th I still think it's just that, you know, the bulk of the card there. Um, all right, moving along. I think we got some butterflies going on next. And this first one is from Judy Albert using a couple different designer papers here. The butterfly... Um, what was that called? Butterfly Brilliance, maybe? And then the Dainty Delight designer paper. Oh, butterflies here in that embossing folder. Yeah, Butterfly Brilliance Dainty Flowers Heartfelt Hexagon for the sentiment on the inside. I hope your day is filled with joy. And from this greeting too, lots of love and hugs. Fantastic. Three butterflies for our theme of three. There is a really fantastic new butterfly bundle in the new catalog. I can't wait to order it when it comes out in May. Here's some more butterflies. This one is from Carrie Zacharias using, um, oh my gosh, we were just talking about the suite. Um, sort of a build, build your butterfly stamp set that was in the catalog last year and I coordinated with that paper uh, that Rosemary used on her card. We've got three butterflies and also three groupings of hearts and three sequins. All the love, sending good vibes. Love that sweet card. Our next one, more butterflies. This one is from Oh my goodness. I just realized what you did. This is AMT and she said the butterfly bodies are made up of the number three. What? Do you see it? I didn't see it until I just looked at this card again. So the butterfly wings are die cut threes, two of them. <laughs> That's so amazing. One over here too. Literal threes on the butterfly wings. Wow. Just Jade, Hello Honey, and um, Magenta Madness, right? For the colors here. Another year flies by. Happy birthday. I'm never going to look at the number three the same way again. That is so clever. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything else here. Okay. Threes. Butterfly bodies. Card front. Um number of butterflies oh oh the panels three panels three butterflies and the butterfly wings and also the letters in hay <laughs> and then um, the stamp sets be my valentine big hooray kite delight and pretty perennials and the dies those alphabet with the three are the playful alphabet and the large letter framelets and the number of years butterfly wings are from two to three two threes, one reversed and glued together. I mean, amazing. The bodies are from the large letter exclamation point and um, the, the large butterfly. And then the bodies are from the playful alphabet, three letters I, oh, the letter and the antenna from the, um, Oh, oh, from the um, the small butterfly, from the little um, Tilda, right? What is, what is, no, that's not a Tilda. What is that? Um, from the letter C, the, um, oh, it's French, the little accent mark. Oh, you guys, I cannot think of it. <laughs> that's so clever. AMT, I seriously am blown away at your creativity. So, so clever. And the glitter paper underneath the butterfly wings are... Just the perfect touch. I love the little ombre and the way that you've got this position there. Clever, clever, clever. You guys always are thinking outside the box. I just love it. Our next card from Laura Wataki uses this fantastic rings with nature, ringed with nature um, stamp set. It coordinates with the um, tree rings hybrid embossing folder. Can you see the detail on there? This hybrid embossing folder die cuts and embosses at the same time. And we've got a little bit of um, stamp and blends around the edges to highlight the edges of those tree rings. Um, such a fantastic card. I love the detail as well, the texture on this with the tree bark. Um, such a great little masculine card, I think, with the, um, the designer paper as well. 
Love, love, love it, Lori. Uh, oh, I should have put this one in the beginning. Here is the literal number three. This card is from Marie Ferrito using the large number dies and the small star punch. Oh, I loved that punch. It was so great. We got some pretty, um, our, what was it, regal peacock or, um, oh, the name of the, the foil paper. It went right in one one side of my head and out the other. I loved this polka dot ribbon um, and the embossing folder. So fun to celebrate a birthday. I'm glad it's your birthday so I can tell you how wonderful you are. Oh, so, so sweet for a little boy turning three, I think. I just love it. Um, yes, Melissa, that <laughs> ringed with nature card is so amazing. Okay, you guys, this one is really cool. I've not seen this fun fold before. This is from Jenny Oliver. She says she used Julie Baca's Sunny Day Stampin' double open flat fun fold card to create a triple open flat fun fold card. That's a lot of words for the three theme. The stamps that she used with Biggest Wish and Wildflower Path. Okay, don't you love this paper? This is the uh, Meandering Meadow designer paper. So we've got a flap on the front. May your day be filled with sunshine. Oh, I love that. And then on the inside, another flap. Celebrate every beautiful thing. So this is the designer paper, but we've got the double to make a triple. So one flap, two flap, three flap, triple for our three theme. That is pretty cool. Two pieces of six by five and a quarter designer paper uh, scored and folded over there to make those flaps. And then on the inside, the panel here. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. What a fantastic card, Jenny. Thank you so much for inspiring us and sharing this amazing fun fold. I love, love, love it. Here's another one with the Meandering Meadow designer paper. This is one of the online exclusives. It's a six by six designer paper and it inspired the, um, the March paper pumpkin kit, right? So last month's paper pumpkin kit. And you can get a refill if you're a paper pumpkin subscriber, you can get refills of the paper pumpkin kits. This card is from Cindy Kittner and she has um, this awesome template, right? That she used here cut into thirds the designer paper. So she um, has the template there that shows you how to cut the designer paper for the front of the card. And I just love that kind of like almost a window pane look, but just uh, cutting the paper to sort of separate those panels out and just give that card some interest. And then of course, we've got three of the brass butterflies to embellish the card. So sweet and simple. I really love this one, Cindy. Well done. Um, Marilyn, I'm not sure, um, about your card for March. Um, did I share it already in that March, in that first March video, which was a month ago? I don't honestly remember. I recently did send back all the cards for, um, March. When did I send those out? Um, I guess it was last week at this point. So you should have gotten a return card. And if you didn't, um, then it could still be coming. Um, but I don't know. Sometimes cards get lost in the mail. Sometimes they come way, way, way after the fact. One time last year, I got a card from March. I got it in July or something like that. I don't know where it went. Uh, I don't know where it went in the meantime. Um, I'll have to see, um, Marilyn, maybe I'll go back and look at the, um, video and see if I can see if your card was in there. Um, our next card comes from Myrtle Thorne, who used the Trusty Tools designer paper and that fun coordinating bundle, um, to create the pegboard in the background. My very favorite tailored tag punch. You're the most awesome. Three tools for our theme here in April. This would be such a great card for any handy man or woman who is good with a power tool. Um, I just love, uh, love this designer paper. It was such a great one from Celebration. Um, you know what? I wasn't sure if I was missing mail. I checked with the post office and they said that I had all of the, um, you know, all of the mail that was coming. So I thought maybe I just was a little short um, that month. But um, I'll see what I can find, Marilyn. We'll see if we can um, 
see if that card was already shown or like I said, maybe it's just lost in the mail and still coming. Our next card is from Christine Almond who used that cute little carnival treats um, to create this fun card with the donuts. I love that. Thanks for being you. A little vellum layer there with the embossed swirls and the iridescent rhinestones. Mom's favorite. She's so sad that those are going away. On the inside, a little bit of sprinkles. That is so fun. Uh, such a fun little detail on the inside. Christine, thank you for that. This, thanks for being you, um, die cut and stamped. I think, is that the one? There is a greeting set, the charming greetings that is retiring and it has coordinating dies like that, uh, I think, which are on sale um, this month. So make sure that you check out that last chance list. Our next card is from Annette Crochetti using the Latte Love designer paper, another online exclusive. So we've got three coffee mugs here, three friends getting together for some coffee. You're the best part of my day. I love that simple Z fold card. So the Z fold is scoring in the middle or near the middle on the card front and then folding it back to create the Z. And then we've got a designer paper panel on the front that kind of covers the whole thing. So the Z fold is sort of just in there and then it opens it up so you can see both panels on the inside. Such a great card with an awesome latte love and a little latte designer paper. Thank you so much for sending that one in, Annette. Our next card from Kaylee Sliman using the... Um, Oh, what is the name of the stamp set? I just was looking at the catalog. It is retiring. It's got a pencil and a Band-Aid and some other fun um, large stamps. The biggest wish here with the thanks and that note paper um, die from uh, the paper itself is from the delightfully eclectic designer paper and um, gorgeously made. That bundle has the note paper border and that's so perfect to pair those together. I just love that, Kaylee. Nice job. A great coloring too on the pencil. Our next card is from Kathy King, and um, let me take her note out here. She also used the delightfully eclectic designer paper with the flowers in the background, and she's got the um, Petal Park stamp set um, with the Petal Park punch. Now, the stamp set is going to be discontinued. It's going to retire, um, but the punch will carry over. Uh, but if you like the punch, you'll definitely want to get the stamp set that matches. Um, Kathy said she made this card um, just for this month's swap and it came from Karen <laughs> um, Kasenkovich. Good luck saying that name. How did I do, Kathy? <laughs> um, three flowers in the card following the theme, Petal Park stamp set. Yep, I think I got the designer paper right and the sentiment from the special moments stamp set. So sad we didn't get to see you in Houston, Kathy. I hope that you will um, be planning to go to the next onstage conference in Raleigh, North Carolina. That's going to be so much fun next March. Our next card from Nancy Ross uses that um, softly sophisticated stamp set. Some softly stippled. This, what is it? This is softly stippled. And this one was simply sophisticated? Something. So, oh, now I forgot. <laughs> um, both from Celebration. Uh, the colors here, some pool party, Lost Lagoon, a little bit of mossy meadow in there. Really pretty. Hello there. And we've got three flowers and three dots um, for our Hello There card. This one's so pretty. I love those colors. Our next card from Sue Hebert using the three panel spanner card. All supplies uh, are just stuff I had laying around. I like those kind of cards, just stuff. This one has a picket fence with, um, it almost looks like, like, um, hmm, popsicle sticks uh, or something similar here on white, um, white paper for the, the spanner part of the card. And then I just love these sweet little vines, these sweet little leaves. Look at that one. Oh, this paper is so pretty with the sunflowers. And then on the inside, may your birthday be as special as you are. That is just so sweet. What a great card. I love that, Sue. Thank you for sharing that fun fold. Speaking of fun fold, I am not sure how this card works. Let's let's look at this together. This is from Marilyn Kane. And, um, and it looks like there are several different, well, three different panels here. I'm, I'm going to open up the directions and we'll see. I don't want to break it. <laughs> um... Okay, it looks like it was inspired by Debbie Henderson. And let's 
I should have examined this ahead of time. Do we take the ribbon off? Let's try that. We'll take the ribbon off. Oh, whoa, okay. Oh my gosh, that's really fun with the different panels for a special person on a special day. Three panels, how perfect for our theme of three. This is really special. So if you're looking for a card like this, Debbie Henderson, um, it looks like she has the tutorial to make this one. Um, top portion is created and scored with different accordions. I just love that. Oh, did I open it the right way? Does it open? I didn't want to break it. Nope, that's definitely glued down. That's really, really cool. I might have to look into this one. Thank you so much for the inspiration. I love it when you guys send new cards, new folds that I haven't seen. And this one definitely is new. Uh, this pretty peacock ribbon, speaking of which, isn't that gorgeous? That's part of the forever love suite that mom and I just shared in our Sunday stamping video. And then the design or the stamps here are the Magnolia, the Magnolia Mood stamps that one of the... Um, online exclusives. Now I'm going to include those directions in there. So whoever gets the cards will have that print out. Thank you for including that, um, that fun fold card. That's just fantastic. Um, all right. Our next card, ooh, from Shella Sams uses the perennial lavender suite and the perennial postage dies to create that big one. Some stitched rectangles for the three panels for this happy Mother's Day card. I think it got caught in the machine coming through the post office. You are loved beyond measure. Oh, so pretty. Now this perennial lavender designer paper is going to carry over and continue to be available in the new catalog. So I'm excited about that. And the perennial postage stamp set. I'm not sure actually about that one. It might be on the list, but the dies are going to carry over. So I am happy about that. Um, yes, Alita, do you hear the birds chirping? We've got the windows open and they are very chirpy tonight. Uh, it is completely dark out now because it is going on eight o'clock central time here um, in Illinois. Yeah, you heard the birds too. Oh, I love that. <laughs> they are very sweet to hear in the evening. Usually I hear them a lot in the morning too. All right, Debbie Lindauer sent this one. Thank you, too, for an extra for me as well. It was so sweet of you. This is, got we've got three of the stamps. What was the name of this stamp set? The Postage Punches. I remember that. Um, and it had a stamp set with all of these images that fit into that punch. Sending love your way. And my very favorite of all time embossing folder, um, using the um, Tasteful Textile embossing folder. I just love that one. Colors here, Misting Moonlight with um, Basic White. Sending love your way. So, so cute. All right, this one comes all the way from the UK from Tracy Evans. She used the Fresh as a Daisy um, stamp set to create this card. The, uh, oh, here, I'm holding it backwards. The um, Cross Hatch, one of my favorite embossing folders from the Basics 3D, not, yes, Basics 3D embossing folder, a, a trio of embossing folders that is in the online exclusive section. And then these dies from that Fresh as a Daisy. So pretty. Moody Mauve is the color here. A little bit of wild wheat peeking through underneath those daisies. Tracy, thank you so much for participating in our swap. If you're an international stamper, you can participate in the great big card swap. Check out the link in the video description to get three return postage stamps um, that will work for our global friends around the world. Our next card is from Marge Crins Crins Krasneski. Um, this was one of my favorite designer papers and the name is just escaping me right now. Um, it was black and white with these splashes of color. Um, and then, no, the color version. And then there was a black and white version, I think for celebration, wasn't there? Um, this, the daisies, good question, Sharon. The daisy stamp set and dies are going to carry over, but the designer paper does not. So make sure you get that um, that designer paper on sale if you would like to, some more of that. This one is really pretty. Those basic border dies um, are going to be retired. So if you like those dies, make sure to get the basic borders. I'm not sure if that's what this is, but 
it reminds me of those those dies. We got three die cut flowers here for our little thank you. I'll never forget your kindness. So sweet. Even three flowers on the inside. <laughs> you thought of it, Marge. I love it. Our next card is from Julie Carlisle, and she um, used the confetti from the ice cream swirl um, stamp set to create this fun little triple layer card. Who did I see this one from recently? Was this... Um, Oh my gosh, was it Karen Titus that I saw this card from? Oh, you guys, thank you so much. Hand penned was the name of this designer paper. Thank you. I was going to drive me crazy. <laughs> um, and I'm sure you know the name of this one. Uh, this is such a fun little three panel card. So it's got some fun um, embossing and cutting here. Um, and then they kind of all collapse on each other. So you can see the designer paper is Simply Zinnias. Um, is that what it's called? Simply Zinnias? Um, maybe it was Connie Stewart. That that might be right, Sherry. I don't I don't remember. I remember seeing it in my feed and I thought, oh, that looks cute. I got a card like that, and I just don't remember um the the name of who, who did this one. Sometimes once it's out there, everyone's making it. Um this one is so pretty. I love these hexagon. The hexagon punch has been out for a while. I think it's coming back soon though. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. Big hugs. I don't know. That's And she used the two-toned floral card to create this triple panel card. So sorry about that interruption. If you see a little pause, um, I think I had a call coming in that paused the video momentarily. All right, this one is cased from Ruth Trice. And she used the softly sophisticated embossing folder as well as the two-tone floral stamp set, the soft spring go-to greetings. I can't believe that one's going to retire. Sunny sentiments and better than email. Hoping your birthday is filled with all the best things. I adore this color combination here. Gorgeous grape, Highland Heather. We have some like boho blue in here and the purple with the little white and the granny apple green. I mean, this card is just gorgeous from top to bottom. I absolutely love that. Virginia, thank you so much for sending an extra one for me as well. That was so sweet of you. Just such an amazing card. Speaking of amazing cards, I mean, they're all amazing, you guys. You just always, <laughs> always wow me. This one from Nancy Bridges uses some of that um, Flight and Airy designer paper, that bird paper. And then we have some of the meadow die cuts here, colored in and sponged on happy birthday with a little postage um, die. And this is a fun little frame here. It looks like maybe, was that hand cut or a die? I really love that. On the inside, a little piece to protect the, um, the, the sentiment on the inside says, you are amazing. We got the perennial postage. I'm gonna check out her little note here, Nancy's note, let's see here. On the front, um, better than email, the uh, ba -ba -ba, Sizzix wildflower stems. Oh, they're not stamping them. I thought that they were. They look very similar to some other dyes that we've had. And the frame is from Jelly. It's a thick dye. Got it. Um, this pretty posy stamp on the inside from Gina K Designs. Oh, that's pretty. And I love that little gem. On the back, the better than email stamp set that has the handmade. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'll put the note in here so it doesn't get on the inside piece. Beautiful card, Nancy. Love these colors too. Like a little petal pink and the green and the um, that soft blue, like a balmy blue there. Oh, look at this one from Risa Zillion. I love this um, this technique with the designer paper and kind of like a sunburst. Is there a name for this this? Um, this layout, this fold, um, and then uh, these are so pretty with the different layered um, pieces. I love it. Say it with flowers. So gorgeous. And then we have the whole thing is embossed. Can you see the texture? It kind of looks like the gingham embossing folder that we had. On the inside, another little sticker to kind of bring in some of that pattern. Really beautiful. Oh, Risa, you always do such a, an amazing job with your cards. Thank you for sharing this one. 
Here's another one. This is a fun fold card and perfect for our tree, our, our three theme. This one is from Patty Tucker. Um, so Patty, I've got to check that uh, envelope and see if I can get your apartment number because I couldn't uh, read it on your first card. Uh, okay, so this is one of those um, triple diagonal easel. So we have um, each panel is scored diagonally and then you can fold it and it will stick up like an easel behind that element on the inside. So you get all three just like that. Wow, so fun. I love the effect of um, that card and when you um, have it on display, it's just so pretty. I love these bright colors, these amazing die cut flowers with the glitter and the, um, the vellum. They're just really pretty. Patty, fantastic card. Thank you for sharing that with us. I know someone's really going to love uh, receiving your card. Our next one comes from Rose Spivey using some of that Butterfly Kisses designer paper. Best wishes on your joyful day. Color and contour, one of the um, stamp sets that are going to be retired on the last chance list. And then, oh, I love the little butterflies on the inside of that tag. Three panels here for our three theme. You guys just really have nailed it. Come up with so many different ways to incorporate three onto your cards. How about this one? We've got three zinnias. This card is from Kathy Gailey, and she did a fun fold card with the zinnias. I'm going to look at her note and see what she says here. Great big card swap. Simply zinnia bundles. Uh, the springtime joy stamp set, which is retired. The splatters embossing folder. Um, she doesn't say anything about what the fold is called. I've made a card similar to this before. I think the measurements were a little bit different, so I might have to case this one before I send it off. I love that it is um, kind of a little bit of a different size and has that different fold and comes out like that. So lots of room to write your message there. May the new life of spring bring you joy. Oh, I love that. And those zinnias are gorgeous. We've got Blackberry Bliss and Berry Burst. The colors are fantastic together with some of that green. Beautiful, Kathy. Every little detail of it. Our next card is from Anne Schillinger. And she cased this one from Connie Stewart using the Favored Flowers designer paper. This has a fun little gate fold on the front. So I'm going to untie it. Hopefully I'll be able to tie it back up and make it look pretty, but you got to see this on the inside. We've got the sides that open either way. I hope your day is filled with joy. This is from the Heartfelt Hexagon stamp set. Isn't this paper just gorgeous? This was some celebration designer paper from um, 2023, if I remember correctly. Um, and I just love the black with the background and then the petal pink and calypso coral. I'll try to get that bow on there just right again so whoever gets it can open it back up such a cute card and what a great fold i love that so much thank you ann for sharing that awesome card we've got just a few more cards to share tonight until we're done our next card is from veronica t using the card base from the um, lovely lavender January paper pumpkin kit and some pretty tulips in the rain. Uh, getting a little drink of water there. Tulips and raindrop stamps are from the Posh Impressions from 1988. What a blast in the past. For you stamp is from Close to My Heart and everything else is from the paper pumpkin kit. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. What is the oldest? I think we talked about this last time. The oldest stamp set in your collection. Uh, this one uh, might be the oldest I've seen in a while. We had some old ones last time with the something old, something new though. Oh, actually, our last one is this or that. This one is from Linda Vanderspool. This is, Lin it's Linda's dad who's celebrating his 100th birthday. So just a last reminder, if you would like to send a card for his birthday, you can send it to the swap address. But before we review that, take a comment here and let me know this or that. Which of these do you prefer? We have sweet sorbet um, panels here with the pretty or the perennial postage dies layered with designer paper. So one red on white and one white on red. And then the pretty die cuts. These detailed die cuts from the catalog are actually on the last chance list. I don't remember the name of this one, but... 
Um, it is so pretty. We've got so many amazing dyes. You guys have to check out the back of the catalog with all the dyes that are 50 and 60% off. Kind of amazing. Thank you for your friendship. Love that card. Thank you, Linda, for sending an extra for me. So this or that, tell me which of these, if you got to choose, which of these would you keep um, for yourself? I'm going to have to decide that uh, because Linda sent in both. So thank you, Linda, for that. Now, if you want to send a card for Linda's dad to celebrate his 100th birthday, please get that in the mail by May 31st. You've got a little bit of time. Um, and just mark the envelope Linda's dad so I know to save it for him. You can send your swap cards and Linda's dad's birthday cards to Julie Davison, P.O. Box 6164, Champaign, Illinois 61826. Our next great big card swap showcase is going to be in two weeks on Tuesday, April 23rd. Our theme this month is three. And if you're sending ahead for May, be sure to mark the envelope, hello, goodbye, or May, so that I know to hold it for that one. Yes, Melissa, those artistic dyes. I think that's what it is. Thank you so much, Alita, for, uh, for looking that up. I, I just couldn't think of the name of it. Those dyes, they're so pretty. Thank you to all of our swappers who have um, shared cards this month. I love seeing them and feel so inspired. If you would like to receive a great big card swap in the mail, make sure to send your cards in um, so we can share them next time. Please include a dollar to cover, return postage, and an envelope. And remember, don't write inside so we can send our cards on um, and spread the happy mail. Spreading smiles across the miles, one handmade card at a time. Thank you for being here and participating in the live chat. Thank you for watching in the replay for all you replay warriors. I'm so happy that you are joining and I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps my YouTube channel. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of my future card making videos like Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie and Thursday Night Stamp Therapy every Thursday night at 7.15 p.m. Central Time. Have a great day. Day and I will see you guys all next time. Bye.